Welcome to Wash Talk, the Car Wash Podcast. I'm your host, Rich DiPaolo, and joining me today, it's the return of the Mac, my buddy, Mac Ewing, Director of Strategic Initiatives for Transchem Group. Mac, it's wonderful to see you again. Rich, it's great to be here, man. Thanks so much for having me again. I, I know I always say this, but I so appreciate what you do for the industry and what your team does, and uh, the return of the Mac is, is the best intro I could ask for, so thanks for that. <laughs> I couldn't resist. You know, no, no, you nailed it. I couldn't resist. <laughs> All right, so you know, one of the trends we've we've seen Mac over over the last decade or so are these, uh, you know, larger companies. I would say acquiring these maybe smaller or niche focused companies to create kind of a one stop shop. And and wouldn't you know, to start twenty twenty four, one of the biggest news items of the year so far is uh, is OPW Vehicle Wash Solutions acquisition of Transchem Group, and of course, uh, OPW owned by Dover uh, Corporation. So uh, joining a much larger uh, company here, Mac, and I wanted to uh, to catch up to see how this impacts uh, not only OPW, but also obviously Transchem Group as well. For sure, yeah. And, and like you said, as a, a marketing background, you know, it's starting the year off with a bang is always a good way for us. <laughs> never a uh, bad thing, right? Never, never a bad thing. No, no. Yeah, certainly it's it's very significant for us. I mean, first and foremost, we've been a family owned and operated business for almost 50 years. Uh, my grandfather, Murray Ewing, started the company just under 50 years ago, and I've been able to grow up around that. But I know a lot of our team has grown up around uh, being a family owned and operated business as well. And so, you know, we take a lot of pride in, in our organic growth uh, up until this point by prioritizing our customers. And we try to have great service, great products. And, you know, the last decade certainly been an exciting one for Transchem Group. Um, aside from this acquisition, we did bring on and acquire Turtle Wax Pro in 2013. And we also launched a few new product lines or, or divisions um, in an equipment standpoint that we've developed in house. Like uh, we have soak self-serve equipment, uh, clear wash reclaim technology, and digital mosaic mobile app technology as well. So there has been a lot of change for us in the last 10 years. And I think this is, uh, you know, a great next step for us. But we all know the industry shifted so rapidly over that time period, the last decade or so. And as industries evolve, of course, different challenges and opportunities present themselves. Uh, we all understand that. We all listen to your show. And I think you folks do a great job of covering some of those trends at a macro level. And when we at Transchem looked at the landscape of the market, you know, to continue to innovate and remain at the cutting edge of car washing, we felt that a partnership was an important aspect of our growth moving forward, um, both to better serve our customer base, but also to remain competitive with all of the, you know, the challenges that are in the market today with the investment that has come into the industry. So, you know, we've had the opportunity to collaborate with the great team at OPW Vehicle Wash Solutions. For quite a while. So we've got to know them as people and on a personal level. Um, but we've also got to understand their their business strategy, the way they do business. And they're very customer centric. I know that's an easy thing to say, but my personal experience and I think what I've heard from the industry is they genuinely do operate with that customer first mentality. And for us, that made all the sense in the world as a great fit for the Transchem group. And on a personal level for myself, from my family, uh, my dad, Nate, and my uncle, Tim, who have worked in the business for much longer than I have. Um, uh, their, their dad, my grandpa, founded the company. And you know he was the one who initiated this conversation with OPW. So from that personal standpoint, we're also very proud to have seen it through and to kind of honor that legacy and uh, the next steps for, for our company and our employees. That's great. Yeah, certainly exciting news. And uh, I've always loved that Turtle Wax Pro logo. It's such a, a classic logo, right? I'm going to have to uh, find out where I can get some merch maybe to uh, round out my uh, my wardrobe. But uh, yeah, Mac, I, I wanted to know, does, does joining this team, you know, this OPW team, does it open up any opportunities initially for Transchem Group uh, as you look in, into the short term here? Certainly, yeah, it opens up a great window of opportunities for the Transchem Group, and I hope and, and believe for our customers as well. 
Um, you know, we joined the the vehicle wash solutions group, which I'll call that VWS now. No one wants to hear another acronym, but uh, just for simplicity, <laughs> the uh, VWS group um, as their only chemical offering today. And our priority number one is to fit seamlessly alongside those other great brands that they have. Um, we have Turtle Wax Pro, as you mentioned, a great trusted name in car washing. We have Auto Lux, which is our house brand of chemistry. And we have private label and custom blended chemistry as well. So, you know, with that, we've always felt like we could support any car wash business and the goals of their owners and operators, regardless of their geography or, or the market segment they're in. But I think this this integration into VWS really just brings that to a whole nother level in a way that as a, a you know medium sized family owned business we just couldn't have accessed and and a good example of that is VWS has an awesome customer base of dealerships of fleet washes and other transportation cleaning segments that certainly I wasn't as uh, well versed that they had such a big presence in that space. And we're certainly not known as well in that space today. So I think even from an expansion on what we think of with you know self-serve MBA automatic and uh, express tunnel models, there is a great market segment that we haven't had access to that we're really excited to be a part of. But you know, as I mentioned earlier, we're, we're also a lot more than chemistry, uh, although that is where we've built our business on uh, you know over the past almost 50 years. But we offer self-serve equipment, which we build in the house, and that's called soaks. Uh, water reclaim systems called Clearwash. Um, we have Digital Mosaic, which is a mobile app that helps operators sell washes or subscriptions. And we do service car washes directly in Ontario and Alberta markets in Canada. So although we're, we're certainly known for chemistry, and that's something that we're really proud of, we do have a breadth of offerings that we're very optimistic will enhance that VWS platform and you know bring a meaningful addition to what they bring to market and what customers can can look for from them as an organization. Yeah, certainly want to talk a little bit more about that collaboration with uh, with the other brands under the uh, the OPW uh, vehicle wash solutions umbrella and also our digital mosaic uh, later on in this interview but specifically for the for the personnel and the customers here what steps is transchem taking to ensure a seamless integration into the opw family family particularly concerning uh the product offerings and customer service yeah no that's that's a great question and i know there's there's two ways that i think we can look at it the first is addressing the customer transition and the second is the business as a whole so Starting with the customer transition and ensuring a smooth transition, like you said, um, at Transchem, we've prioritized customer satisfaction um, going back to, to the first days of our business. So we know that many operators and distributors have worked with us for you know not one year, not five years, not 10 years, but, but 20, 30 plus years. And they choose our products because they have faith that we'll treat them with respect and integrity. And as we know, as everyone listening knows, this is a very relational industry and prioritizing those relationships just has to be uh, the main focus for us now in this transition, but also going forward. And I think, you know, OPW is a great fit for us in many ways, but specifically because they share those values and the industry knows this. It's made for a very positive reception from the market and from our customers because they've seen, you know, how well OPW integrated ICS when they acquired them in 2021 and some of the other great brands that they've brought into their portfolio as well. So there is a bit of a, a case study, if you will, or a history of how those integrations have gone well for OPW uh, in a way that that has benefited the customer. So when we look at our customer base, they continue to work with their key accounts, uh, which ensures that those relationships remain in place and the trust that we've built with them is solidified moving into the future. But I think for us, clear and transparent communication has been the focus area. And so we've spoken with our partners and our customers a great length to ensure a thorough understanding of the acquisition. And we know that this isn't just something where you, know, you call up your customer, you send a quick follow-up email, and you're done and you move on. Um, it is a process. It's something where these operators, these owners, these distributors 
rely on us for their livelihood and, and for their family's livelihoods. And so if I was them, I would totally have questions about what's happening, what the path forward looks like. And what I would say is we, we focus on a dialogue and just maintaining good, consistent communication and being open and transparent about, you know, the positive ways that our relationship will evolve and change through um, this acquisition. Um, Sounds great. Yeah. So if I, go, go ahead. I'm going to no, sorry. I just wanted to touch on your, the first part of your question, which was the, the product integration offer sure. as well. Um, you know, because customers have to be at, at, at the priority here for the integration, but from a company integration overall, um, we, we definitely share a lot of the same values and specifically when it comes to the respect and collaboration with our employees. And, and we have employees who have been at Transcount uh, longer than I've been alive, candidly. We have employees who have been there for, for more than 35 years. And that's something we're proud of and we're really excited about. So we want to make sure that it's a seamless transition or, or as seamless as possible um, for our employees and, and for the internal processes that we have. So um, we've committed with OPW to ensuring a smooth transition. There's a detailed integration plan. They have great expertise on their team uh, to lead that plan and a lot of collaboration from our folks as well. So I can say it's it's led to a lot of dialogue, um, certainly, but I've been very energized by how professional and experienced their team is. And no doubt we as a company and certainly I as an individual have a lot to learn from them. Um, but I hope that we can contribute you know, in a meaningful way to to their culture and to who they are as well. And uh, of course, you know, our, our goal is to make a positive impact. So although the integration is broad ranging, um, we're, we're definitely focused on a few main areas. Uh, we have strict guidelines for product quality, and that's been a key focus, um, optimizing our supply chain, making sure car wash operators you know, have the chemistry they need when they need it uh, at the quality they expect and prioritizing the technical support that we deliver uh, to customers and operators because we know chemistry especially isn't easy to work with. It does require expertise and being there to support those operators uh, is something we take a lot of pride in. Well, it sounds like on a basic level, if I'm a car and transcam customer, nothing's changing, URL's the same, phone number's the same, where I send my fan letters, uh, same address, right? So uh, ordering is, is not being disrupted or anything like that, correct? You got that right. Yeah, we still have the exact same facilities as well. So if you're the type of customer who likes to come into the office to say hi and, and pick up your chemistry, you know, drive on over to Cambridge, Ontario, Canada, and we'd be happy to say hi and maybe we can even grab lunch. Sounds great. Well, um, I want to talk a little bit uh, about the digital mosaic that was that was mentioned in the press release, Mac. And I know you were integral in in developing and and flushing that out, right? So, um, what uh, what as a technology platform, could you give us more details on how it benefits car wash operators in managing subscriptions and loyalty programs? And, and what is Digital Mosaic? Is it something that current OPW, uh, VWS customers can take advantage of now, or is there a plan for, for that integration to occur? Yeah, absolutely. And I know we talked about this a little bit when I was on the show last time, but but just quickly for those maybe who aren't familiar, because Digital Mosaic is still a brand that's that's gaining an audience in, in the car wash industry. Um, Digital Mosaic is a technology platform um, that's delivered to car wash customers through a mobile app. So a custom branded mobile app. You've got Rich's Car Wash branded mobile app, um, as well as integrations through some larger networks. So for example, uh, Digital Mosaic powers the Casey's uh, Car Wash program across all of their locations through their existing mobile app, or same one you can order your pizza from or, uh, or buy a car wash from. And uh, so today, VWS customers actually do leverage a digital app in, in many different ways. Uh, we have a great overlapping base of, of customers there, which is really exciting. And, and that hasn't been by accident. Mosaic has integrated closely with the ICS offerings for more than five years now. So it's a really natural fit alongside their team. And today, if any VWS customers or you know car washers uh, across North America wanted to access Digital Mosaic, they would do so in the same way, which is you know working with our team to get the app set up, launched to their customers, and marketed to their customers. Um, but you know the additional benefit here is, of course, 
how closely we've worked with ICS to to develop the shared offering. And that's something that we're really excited about moving forward. It's just, it's it's worked out very well that there was a great fit there. And you're not the first guest to throw out a fictional riches uh, car wash. And certainly there is a riches car wash in the industry. I might have to come up with a different name, but maybe it's something I need to uh, to look into in the future, right? I, I You know what? If you don't have a car wash now, you got to get there soon. <laughs> right? You got to join the rest of us. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, uh, I want to talk about the the divisions or the brands that OPW uh, currently has and, and how... Uh, Transco envisions to collaborate with PDQ and and Bellinger, and you mentioned ICS, another great supporter of uh, of PC and D magazine and CarWash dot com. So uh, innovative control systems. Uh, how how does how does your company envision um, collaborating with these other brands under the OPW umbrella? Yeah, and, and you know, even though we all carry different types of solutions across PDQ, Bellinger, ICS, and Kesseltronics, uh, we do share many of the same customers, and that's not by accident. They have a great focus on a distributor-based model, uh, as do we. So, you know, unlike some of the uh, the other large platforms in the industry that have focused on vertical integration, uh, you know, OPW VWS has done a great job of uh, strengthening their distributor relationships, and so we have a lot of overlap in our customer base and certainly that's that's exciting for us when it comes to collaboration um but i would say you know when we look at how we grow together uh prioritizing customers is an easy thing to say but we believe we can do that by helping to create some incentives for customers to grow the overall basket of products that they're purchasing from the opw group if they choose to do so so you know said simply make it easy for a customer to buy uh, everything they need for their car wash from the VWS suite of products. Uh, and and of course, there's many benefits there, whether that's pricing, whether that's, you know, single source of billing, uh, whether that's great single uh, lines of support. We want to make sure that we make it easy for operators and distributors to work with us. Um, but that being said, we know that car washing is very personal. Like I said earlier, it's very relationship oriented. We completely understand that. So we do want to make sure that Customers, you know, don't feel like there's restrictions when it comes to who they select to purchase their products from, to operate their business in the way that that they see fit, and you know, within the framework that they've developed for for themselves. Because, uh, you know, it's it's always cool to go around the world, and I've been very fortunate to to be across Europe and talk to car washers, and across North America and talk to car washers, and you know, everyone does have a different philosophy on how to wash a vehicle. And on you know what types of offerings work best for them. So respecting that, you know, focusing on how we create incentives and and not restrictions to work with us is is the biggest priority when it comes to collaboration. But certainly looking at those other brands that are a part of EWS, it's hard not to get excited about the potential there uh, to to work alongside them. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the with the history of PC and D, but we've also been acquired a few times and changed hands a few times. And uh, although I just started with a magazine in 20, uh, 2012, uh, with each acquisition came different capabilities and more expanded capability uh, to leverage that new company's uh, expertise in certain areas. And we were acquired in 2017 by our current company, Babcox Media, and they 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 focus heavily on digital and they've built out a, a fantastic video studio at the headquarters i don't know if we're doing this interview here today mac with without the support of of babcock's media so it certainly made us a a better brand overall so i'm curious with, with the transcam transcam now a part of opw uh, vehicle wash solutions and dover the larger company how does it impact the company's ability to serve customers in in different regions or vertical markets as you look out into the long-term view is there is there a greater ability to uh to service customer in different areas and different markets yeah certainly there there is a greater ability to service customers in different regions and i know i touched on some of the different markets uh, like fleet washing or dealerships where we're not as strong as as we could be uh in north america i think that's you know for us a a great opportunity in the short term and in the long term um, but from an international perspective that that is really exciting for us and 
being able to go over to the International Car Wash Show in Amsterdam in, in September and learn more about the market. I think that was my third or fourth European trade show um, with Turtle Wax Pro. There's so much potential in the international car washing market, and it's a really exciting and dynamic space over there. And so being able to expand our presence internationally is, is certainly uh, a big factor of why uh, we're a good fit with OPW Vehicle Wash Solutions. Um, we do have customers today all over the world. We work with a distributor network uh, throughout Europe and internationally. So, you know, anywhere from New Zealand to China um, to Central and, and Western Europe, we have great distributor partners there. But expanding that global reach is, is a big priority for us. And my uncle, Tim Ewing, uh, oversees that that global team. And we, we're really excited about the ability to reach more people um, being backed by OBW. They have more boots on the ground over there. And similar to the impact that we saw with Transchem when we acquired Turtle Wax, Turtle Wax Pro's uh, professional line in 2013, you know, it, it's just a, a great boost to get in front of more car wash operators and distributors uh, to be able to explain, you know, what we can offer them. Uh, the brand of Turtle Wax is, is certainly beloved internationally. In some areas, I actually find it to be uh, more recognizable and, and and more prominent than it is even in the United States, which I would never have expected um, with with such large um, recognition in the U.S. So that's something that that's exciting for us, and I think exciting for uh, the OPW team as well. Um, and then finally, you know, when we look at supply chain, when we look at R and D capabilities, uh, incentives for international distributors, the chemical manufacturing we have in Belgium today. I think there's just a lot of really cool opportunities for us to work together and grow internationally. That's awesome to hear. Yeah, for sure. So uh, final question here, Mac, and I definitely appreciate you uh, you taking the time today, but uh, looking ahead, are there any new, or, uh, new uh, exciting innovations or developments that uh, the Transchem team is working on uh, here in 2024? I know that uh, you mentioned that you, you know, before we hit record here, you mentioned that you'll be at the uh, the us uh, the upcoming uh, Southwest uh, Car Wash Association trade show. Uh, what else is on on the uh, on the schedule for 2024 here? Yeah, absolutely. So I would say in the short term, you're exactly right. This is a trade show industry for sure, and uh, this collaboration between VWS and Transchem definitely will come to life at the Southwest show in Fort Worth, Texas, at the end of this month, at the end of February. Um, which is always a great show. I know we were talking about how much we love that show and um, how, how well organized it is. So big kudos and shout out to their team. Um, and then the week after that, actually, there's the Car Wax show, which is in Toronto, Canada. That's the first week of March. So we're, we're fortunate. It wasn't planned this way by any means, but we're fortunate to have uh, two major trade shows coming up to, to bring this collaboration to life. Um, at those shows, you'll expect to see the same Transchem and Turtle Wax Pro booth that we've always had. Um, so we, we won't be, you know, a part of uh, of an OPW VWS booth. We'll, we'll be exhibiting um, ourselves, but certainly with, you know, great cohesion uh, with our new colleagues as well. Um, and then in terms of innovations and developments, like we talked about, you know, our first priority right now is to leverage our existing strengths that have got us here and just expand on that as as part of OPW and part of the scale that, that a company of that size can offer. So, you know, continuing to develop our chemistry, uh, continuing to make improvements and be at the cutting edge there, but also to focus on you know our other offerings like our water reclaiming clear wash, where we definitely see you know more opportunities to invest more in R and D, um, to invest more in sales and marketing, and ultimately just to continue to grow in a way that as as many people have experienced, I'm sure it can be difficult to as a, a family owned private business. So you know, with that in mind, we're, we're excited to leverage what we've done so far um, and, and continue to grow. And then finally to that, I would say, you know, we're in a really interesting time for the car wash industry. And and like I said earlier, you've done a great job and, and your organization has done a great job on carwash.com of documenting what the new normal of car washing looks like. Uh, you know, some of the, the operator acquisition rate has slowed down. Um, there are some headwinds for the industry in terms of weather. I think you know anyone in in the car washing industry has bemoaned the weather uh, over the past several months, and and that's always a challenge that we all face together. 
But there's also a lot of excitement here with new technology, certainly with the maturity of the subscription model, uh, consumer preferences for the do it for me segment, um, you know, the, the show and the entertainment and kind of the spectacle uh, around going through some of these beautiful new car washes, um, the scents, the colors, the lighting. Um, so th there's a lot to be, I think, really excited about in the industry and just supporting the growth of it overall and and the new normal that we all face to me uh, is very energizing. And I know that as a group within VWS and Transcam, uh, we're really excited about the future of the industry. We're really excited about the future of our organizations. And uh, I think just bringing that all to life at the Southwest show and the Car Wax show is something that uh, I'm really looking forward to. Well, it sounds like it's a, a great collaboration with OPW Vehicle Wash Solutions. Mac, I wish you all the uh, the success in the world on it moving forward here. Appreciate you taking the time. I'm already looking forward to the next podcast interview we do together, Mac. And I can't promise I won't use uh, Return of the Mac again. I, it, it might creep out again. Roll it, roll it back, Rich. And <laughs> we'll make sure to get you a shirt after the podcast today, too. I think it's the least we can do. I appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> Take care, all right? All right. Thanks so much, Rich. You as well. I appreciate your time. And thanks, everyone, for taking a, a few minutes to listen today.